Well, hello scrappers, YouTubers of all sorts. Welcome back to my channel, Mike here. And today we're going to make something a little unusual for my channel. So, don't normally do this, at least haven't done it on camera. Today we're going to make some charcoal. Uh, I need some charcoal for a project that's coming up. And no, I know what you're thinking. I know in a previous video I made potassium nitrate. But no, we're not going to be making gunpowder in the future. I need charcoal for something else. Now, I know I can just go to the store and buy some charcoal. Okay, I know that. There's, there's any number of stores where I can do that. But where's the fun in that? If I've got everything I need to make it right here. You know, I get this from my father and my grandfather. They were both highly adverse to buying something that they had everything they needed to make it themselves. Okay, especially my grandfather. So, um, yeah, I've got some scrap wood. I've got some crucibles and a foundry furnace. I can make charcoal, and I'll show you how I do it. If you have a foundry furnace and a couple of crucibles, you can make charcoal real easy. Okay, and I, I don't need a huge amount. I just need a little bit for a project. Basically, I've been doing some smelting in the future. There's a hint. But I need some charcoal for that. So um, i got two crucibles here. This is a good one. This is a good crucible. It's been well used, but it's still good. This one failed at one point during use, and it's all spalled off on the side. But I can still use it for this um, because it's not important. It doesn't have to be, you know, doesn't have to have good integrity. It doesn't have to hold liquid metal, all right? So I've got some scrap wood here that I've cut up into pieces. They're going to fit into the good crucible. Get them all in here. And... It doesn't matter if they stick up above the top a little bit it, it, because, well, you'll see in a minute why it doesn't matter. But we'll get that in there. We'll get this one in here. Get this in here somehow. All right. Now, if I was just put this in my foundry furnace like this and heat it up, the wood would just burn because it would be exposed to the air. And it would get really hot and, well, it would catch fire and it would burn. We don't want that. We just want to drive all the volatile stuff off from the wood and leave behind the char, basically, or the carbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other crucible, set it on top of it just like that. And I'm going to put this whole assembly in my foundry furnace. And I'm going to light it, and I'm just going to leave it going on low for a while. Um... Eventually, I'll start seeing a lot of smoke. Flames will start coming from all of the um, pyrolysis gases that are going to escape from the joint between the two crucibles. But eventually that'll stop. The crucibles will get nice and red hot. And I'll just leave them in that state for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Then turn the foundry furnace off and let it all cool down. Now, not enough oxygen will get in through this gap to burn the charcoal inside that we're creating. So once this cools down, you can open it up and, hey presto, there'll be charcoal. So here's a look at what we've got in there now. Next time we look inside, it'll be charcoal, all right? All right, let's get this foundry furnace lit. All right, I've got my burner on about as low a setting as it will go without the fire getting erratic and maybe going out. We don't need a whole lot of heat for this. I'm going to put this ring on to keep what heat we're generating in. And it won't be long. We'll start seeing smoke and flames coming out as we start pyrolyzing the wood in there. So we'll just let it cook for now. And I'll give you a look at it in a little bit once that starts. Well, it's only been a few minutes. And I don't see any smoke yet, but I can certainly smell... Uh, the smell of burning wood Since I'm a little bit downwind of it. So okay, I can see little wisps of smoke coming off now They might not be showing up in the camera But yeah, we're starting to get wisps of smoke after only a few minutes. Oh, yeah, there was a big puff of smoke So yeah, we're starting to get smoke So we're starting to pyrolyze the wood in there. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to see flames licking up Around the edge of the crucibles in there. I don't know if that's showing up, but that would be from the pyrolysis gases escaping from the little gap between the crucibles. 
and then catching fire once they get out into the air. So yeah, we are making charcoal. Yep, okay, the smoke's getting pretty steady now. I don't know if it's showing up, but yeah, we're getting some pretty steady smoke now. So it's just heating up quick, even on the lowest setting on my, uh, on my burner there. So this is actually a fairly quick process. This does not take very long. It takes longer for the stuff to cool down enough to handle than to actually make the charcoal, okay? Yeah, we're getting pretty steady smoke now. So it's working. Okay, it's just been a couple more minutes, and the smoke has essentially stopped. But we've got a lot of flame coming out. We're producing a lot of pyrolysis gases, but the thing has heated up enough now that we're cracking the tars that would be coming out as smoke. So they're being cracked, and they're coming out as uh, much lighter weight hydrocarbons, and they're burning cleanly now. So there's no smoke and very little odor associated with the combustion now. I know a little bit about pyrolysis. I took a deep dive into it years ago when I built um, a wood gasification system, which unfortunately I don't have any videos on, but I can put a link to the website where I built, uh, built the gasification system. I put a website up on it years ago, and that website's still alive. So I'll put a link in the video description if you're interested in seeing the gasifier in action. Actually, come to think of it now, there were a couple of videos I did make of it in operation. So... Maybe I can put links to those, too. I can find them. It's about 700 videos ago. So anyway, yeah, this is going good. So we're just going to wait until the flames stop. And uh, when the flames stop, basically the pyrolysis is, is, is essentially done. But I'll let it go for, I don't know, another 10, 15, 20 minutes just to make sure we've completely pyrolyzed all the volatiles in the wood and there's nothing left in there but carbon char. Then I'll turn it off and let it cool down. There you see the flames licking up. That's not from the propane. That's from the pyrolysis gases burning when they escape from the, the crack between the two crucibles. They're adding a lot of heat to the process. This is another reason why it goes so quick. Those pyrolysis gases are burning in there and just adding a lot of heat to the process and uh, helping this finish up quicker. All right, so there aren't any more flames coming out. The uh, upper the upper crucible is glowing cherry red, so I'd say we're plenty hot inside. I think the pyrolysis reaction's done. It's been, I don't know, five, 10 minutes since I, I last looked at this, so I would say we're probably done, seeing as there's no more flames, no more smoke, no more odor, nothing. And everything's so hot, I could just turn it off and uh, the reaction will continue on its own for a while to completion, I'm thinking. Okay, so we'll let this cool down, which is probably gonna take till tomorrow, and we'll open it up and see what kind of charcoal we got in there. All right, it's the next morning. This has had a chance to cool down. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Look at that. It's a nice charcoal. All right, let me dump it out and we'll take a look at it. Yeah, I know I didn't make very much, but that's okay. I don't need very much for my purposes. Like I said, this is for smelting, so I don't need very much charcoal for that. Just a little bit goes a long way. So if you need to make just a little bit of charcoal and you've got, you know, some crucibles and a foundry furnace, well, making charcoal is uh, stupid easy, especially if you don't need it in large quantities. So uh, there you go. I hope you found this video at least a little bit interesting, educational, informative, inspirational, whatever. Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to see my future videos where the charcoal will make a reappearance in the future in another project. All right, well, I'll see you in those future videos. Check out my two other channels, Electric Geek 64 and Mike's Lapidarian Fossils. And uh, thanks again for watching. Bye.